And Joe, let's talk about a party. It's one of the best ones thrown here in the 901. Memphis in May, but it's fighting for survival tonight. The city's premier festival still has a locked down a deal with Memphis River Parks Partnership to be in Tom Lee Park this year. It's getting close too. Yeah. Action News 5's Joyce Peterson joins us live in the studio with some new information. Joyce? Yeah, close is an understatement, you guys. MRPP requires a lease deposit to cover damage done to the park during the events. Well, the head of Memphis in May calls the amount, quote, excessive and says it is not financially feasible for his organization. He went a step further, telling the council he says it feels like MRPP is trying to shut Memphis in May down. The $61 million makeover of Tom Lee Park, still a work in progress. The 2023 Memphis in May Beale Street Music Festival kicks off here in just 86 days. We're at a stalemate. But Memphis in May president and CEO Jim Holt told Memphis City Council members Tuesday they still don't have a lease agreement with Memphis River Park's partnership, the nonprofit managing Tom Lee Park. So our expenses are skyrocketing to an unsustainable level and our revenues are diving because of the restricted capacity in the park. Holt says Music Fest typically attracts 35,000 people, but capacity this year with the park's redesign is 22,000. The World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest usually hosts 232 teams. This year, 150. The sticking point, the damage deposit. Right now, the city of Memphis agreed to cover half a million dollars, with Memphis in May putting down an additional $500,000. But if Music Fest and the Barbecue Contest cause more than a million dollars in damage, MRPP wants to make sure Memphis in May pays the tab to fix it. Memphis in May is ultimately responsible for any damages that occurred during their occupancy of the park, regardless of that amount. City Council members quickly losing patience with both sides. There's bad blood between the two, and that is really what is inhibiting this rather than a dollar and cents amount, and, that, and that's why we're here. And nobody wants to see Memphis in May be insolvent and go bankrupt. The events themselves are significant to the city. Folks, let's get this worked out. When Music Fest starts May 5th, Tom Lee Park won't be finished yet. The grand opening now scheduled for Labor Day weekend. All right, Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland and his newly appointed COO, Shandell Ryan, are the mediators between Memphis and May and MRPP. Tonight, Memphis and May officials sent me a statement saying we are exploring additional insurance options as suggested by City Council to cover the possible damages. And again, you heard it here, the all-new Tom Lee Park will be open to us, the public, in September for Labor Day weekend. Can't wait to see it. Reporting live in the studio tonight, I'm Joyce Peterson. Joe, back to you. All right, Joyce.